think we can do it. I think we've got a big enough window where it shouldn't be too bad. The only problem is, is it's not very warm, which means the ice and vapor shield won't stick very well. So we're gonna have to tack it down with the staple gun. And my wife is calling me, hold on. Hello? Hello? Hey, how what? do you want me to put it in the back truck? Uh, you can probably lay it on its side. I don't see any reason why not. I wouldn't drop it, but I don't see any reason why not. Okay, and then just strap it in? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. After selling our house and traveling the country for years, we decided to build an RV home base to come back to. Hi, I'm Goose. I'm Ashley. Join, Join us! us! Good morning guys. So today is supposed to be a mostly dryish day, just cloudy, ugly, and overcast. And as you guys can see, I've already started to take off my tarps from on top because our goal today is to finish that ridge cap right there. You can see how the roof is all covered in OSB there and OSB there, but we have about a two foot gap in the middle right there. And the problem with that is it's a gap in the roof line. So we like tarped it and patched it and put some like some steel work over it. Actually, I can even go up on the roof now and give you a good view of kind of what we did, but it's not perfect. It leaks as you guys know. So today we have about five hours of no rain. We're gonna try and take advantage of it and rip some OSB, get that covered and then completely seal it with the ice in a water shield. Wish us luck.
So I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing here, but basically what I'm having to do is cut back this uh, OSB to be uh, revealing some of the steel beam. So that way we have something to screw this top new piece of OSB that we're cutting to fill in the gap. So it's like, a, it's way more time consuming than just slapping some OSB up here. We gotta get that angle cut perfectly, clean it up. I can't cut too deep because I don't want to cut the steel. And then we have to go down there and match that angle and cut the OSB to then fill in the gap. These first two pieces are gonna be really time consuming because I'm like R and Ding the whole process, figuring out exactly what angles and how to cut it and whatnot. So it may not be pretty, but uh, it should work. So what I'm having to do, because all of this is hand cut up there, and as well as just things aren't necessarily perfect, I'm having to measure every single piece of wood, as opposed to just ripping them all at 26 inches or 26 and a quarter. It's anywhere between that and 27 and a half. Thankfully, I've got Ashley as my partner up there getting everything screwed in, so we're kind of tag teaming this. Plus, also what I have to do here down on the table saw, the reason I was waiting for that is so we can get it beveled at that perfect 30 degree angle so it'll fit right there in that slot and uh, even without screws in it, it's pretty stable. So uh, that's what I'm having to do down here. If I had to do this by hand with my skill saw, that would have been a pain. My little circular saw, it would be all over the place. Ashley, what were my measurements for groove? Flat? And for tongue, And our 10% chance of rain has turned into a 100% chance for the next few hours, which is our last few hours of daylight. But we got it all sealed up as far as the OSB goes. Unfortunately, this is still just sitting down here because it all got wet and we can't really try and stick it down while it's wet. So I think we're gonna tack it down for tonight and then tomorrow is supposed to dry out. So we're almost done, love. For tonight, yeah. So how does it feel to have a house that is officially roofed? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so weird. I can, it's been weeks or months. I can't even remember how long it's been mm. since we've had a non-leaky roof. It feels so good to get that centerpiece covered up, get that ice and vapor or ice and water shield to actually overlap. It's so nice. Yay! Being no. on the roof isn't necessarily the most exciting thing. Uh, I was gonna say, so she I was a champ. Won't say that I would like to do it again. Like, 
because I don't. She, she was a little nervous, but she got up there and she screwed in, I would say, 80% of the boards up there in that center part. Like, so I was very proud of her. We'll see if they fall off anytime soon. But I was very proud. Those would have been yours. Because she was a little bit nervous. But uh, now the next step is we just need to get the metal on the roof. We got the, we got the OSB. Minor details. We Minor got details. the ice and water shield. Now we just need to get the, the metal up there and the roof will be officially done. Mm. But it is so nice to be dried in, what's considered dried in. Because you don't actually need your shingles or your roofing or whatever to be dried in for your rough inspection. You don't need your shingles. Well you, well, you don't. A lot of the rough inspections happen before shingling happens. So anyways, it feels good to be dried in. It feels good to get it sealed up and not have to have friggin' tarps hanging in here. Can you remember how long we had a tarp? Stinking tarps. Sorry. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know if there's anything that you had questions about of like steps we've skipped or whatever. How bad our backs hurt. Feel free. But until next time, guys, Answers stay a lot. positive. Get out there. Life is an adventure. So, so make, make some, some memories. memories. And that was my wife. And there's Mav. What's up, Mav? What do you need? Okay, my kids need me, my wife's calling, I'll be right back. This is life, people. This is life. So I know every single house is gonna have its own plumbing challenges and that every single house is plumbed just a little bit differently, but I wanted to give you an overview of what we've done for our house because I know that when I was doing research, I found that really helpful to see practical examples of how things are hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up a diagram right here showing